Good morning, and welcome to 5 Minutes or More with the Script Mentor. I am the Script Mentor and your host, Gino Scala. First, I want, uh, this is number 171, and first I want to apologize for any glare you might have on the screen. Um, we have an overhead light that I need to take care of, but our normally, uh, we normally get some good lighting from outside. However, we're in the middle of several uh, severe thunderstorms, so it's a little dark outside, and um, again, I apologize. Uh, today, we're going to go over last week's poll question. In your screenplay, what should be the target number of pages to write and target number of words per page on average? The three choices were no target numbers for either. Second was 120 pages with an average of 220 words per page. And the third option was 90 to 110 pages with an average of 180 words per page. And number three is actually the correct answer and it's what I teach. Now, you won't find this information anywhere else. Uh, this is something I created. And there is a reason for that. Because uh, you really want to write a fast reading screenplay with less black than white on the page. And we're talking about ink. And, um, you know, these are the target numbers. Um, anything over 120 pages won't even get into a screenplay competition. So... You know, don't, uh, do not go up beyond 120 pages at any, any, uh, chance you have. Um, keep it, keep it, that's the first thing I look at when I get a screenplay. Not only am I printing it out and using the number of pages, but, um, if I see it's 130, 140, I had a 178 or something not too long ago. If it's that long, you know, it, this person has never even read a screenplay, much less a written one. So you really need to uh, target the 90 to 100 page and 150 to 180 words. Now, uh, there are, you know, some differing opinions on that. You do what you like. But I'm here to tell you that 180 words is the sweet spot. 180 words and below um that is a real fast read and uh the your, the reader is going to be very appreciative of that and the readers you hope are going to be production assistants and producers so if they're appreciative of a fast read they're going to be very happy to potentially work with you they may not like that particular screenplay but they'll like the way you work or they'll like the way you write and they may ask you to write on assignment. So that's basically uh, the re results of... The, the results were 16% voted for no target number. Now, I, I'm assuming they don't really know how to write a screenplay. And they're potentially learning through these videos and my newsletters. And I hope that is the case. But uh, now they know... That, you know, there is a target number. 25% of you voted for 120 pages at 220 words. Now, five, 10 years ago, five years ago, 100, 120 page uh, screenplay was the norm. But like everything else in life, you know, the product has uh, shrunk. It's uh, diminished. And... Um, also time, people's time is more, they feel is more important. And uh, they're just not making, the key, the, the, re, the real reason is, from one, my understanding, is they want to keep 100, 100 minutes, 110 minutes per movie because of these multiplex theaters. And they can have eight or 10 showings a day for a particular 100-minute film as opposed to a uh, Citizen Kane or a uh, Gone with the Wind, which is over three hours long, or uh, something more recent like Pulp Fiction, where and, and any Quentin Tarantino bit movie, basically, or you're looking at um, 140, 150 minutes. Um, and... Uh, once upon a time in Hollywood was that length, I believe. So, uh, 
more minutes per film means less turnover at the, at the box office. And that's what it's all about. Just follow the money. Okay. So that basically uh, gives us the, uh, the target unofficially, but it's by, you know, something I target and I created. Now, one way of reducing this word weight is what I call the one, two, three, four method. Okay. So take these notes down if you're, if you're scoring at home. Uh, the, in the master scene heading is going to be one line, all right? One typed line. You don't want it to curl and start in second line. Whatever you need to do, reduce that to one line. It should basically be half a line, you know, because that's usually all you'll need. But if you're, if it's getting too long, you're including way too much information in there. Now, it's a typed line. We're not talking about a sentence. A typed, computer-typed or typewriter-typed line of ink. That is your master scene heading. Master scene heading is your interior, exterior shot, the location, Tom's apartment, the specific camera location, bedroom, and the time of day. The TOD is day or night. All right? Your second, the, the two, is represented by your descriptive text. After your master scene heading, your next two lines, typed, are going to be your descriptive text. You're describing the location or describing the people in it, uh, in the scene. And sometimes, you know, as you get further on in, in the screenplay, if the if the uh, characters have already been described and the locations have already been described, you're not even going to need a descriptive text per se, unless you're going to describe the setup to the to the, the actual scene. So that's two type lines: one, two, two type lines, not sentences. All right, don't confuse yourself with. Oh, this is one sentence, which is two lines long. And this is my second sentence, another two, two lines long. That's four type lines. So we're going to reduce it to two. Three is represented by the three type lines of the action text. Again, this is an action medium. So you're going to have a lot of action text. But doesn't always have it's not always going to be three lines we're talking these are maximums okay and he sips his coffee is an action text line all right so keep this in mind these are maximums and four is the dialogue is represented by the four type lines of dialogue again i hate to repeat myself but not sentences we're talking about dialogue so now, keep in mind that the margins of the screenplay are out here, but dialogue is centered and it's only, you know, in blocks like this. So, four type lines comes up on you fairly quickly. It might only be two or three sentences. And that's really what you want to do. Now, sometimes you're going to go over. We're talking about an average. All right? If someone speaks six you have a dialogue of six type lines. You're also going to have plenty of dialogue with one word or one line. Okay? So it's an average. But if you find your pages with 12 type lines and the next character responds with 10 type lines and your entire page is one streak of dialogue, you're doing something very, very wrong. So you want to break up that those blocks of dialogue with lines of text. First of all, people don't stand face to face and say 10 lines of dialogue to each other. They just don't. They're moving, they're scratching their face, they're adjusting their hat, they're uh, rolling up their sleeves, they're smoking a cigarette, they're sipping a coffee. And that's how you break up these long blocks of dialogue. If a production assistant opens up that screenplay and sees these long streaks of dialogue, uh, okay, that's going to be the re reaction. <laughs> this person doesn't know what they're doing. It's an another tough read. They get paid for it, but 
you know, make their day a little better. So those are, it's called the one, two, three, four method. You won't hear it anyplace else, but for me, it's something I created to help you write uh, more, uh, a faster read, more succinctly, and uh, a leaner screenplay. Okay, one, two, three, four. And your target page count is 90 to 110 pages. Comedies and horrors can be as low as 80. And uh, 150 to 180 word count. Now, that's an average as well. So if you're at the 190, that's probably okay. But I would go through another pass and see if there are any extraneous information, um, more extraneous information. Now, uh, that'll conclude today's uh, topic on the page count, word count, and word weight. And we're going to, I'm going to, because there's some more th information I want to pass on. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. And in the meantime, make the, if you're having bad weather out there, be safe and make the best of it. And we'll talk soon. Have a good day.